In the wake of the recent Black Lives Matter protest, street artists across Southern California have been transforming boarded up windows from this to this. I'm Itai Hot with how these messages of remembrance and hope are helping to break the color barrier. From the moment Jules Muck witnessed the death of George Floyd, she's been driven to keep his memory alive with paint. It's comforting for me to get to know this man as I'm painting him in a way as much as you can from just a visual. Known as the mural queen of Venice Beach, Muck's work can be spotted on everything from walls to cars and even dumpsters. But these days, her only canvas is plywood. Her only subjects, victims of police brutality. As a street artist, as a graffiti artist, as a muralist, one has to have their ear to the ground and be actually communicating with the neighborhood, hearing what people are talking about and being able to make a visual that reflects that. With businesses throughout Southern California boarding up their windows in hopes of preventing looting, local artists are turning these sheets of plywood into works of art. In the last 10 days, Muck has painted no fewer than 25 portraits, all free of charge. Today, she's painting a five by four black and white image of Floyd for a clothing store on Venice Boulevard. You kind of get to know them through their features. You see the wrinkles in his forehead. You know, you kind of, it's a way to cherish somebody. It's unclear how long her murals will stay up or whether they'll be preserved when the plywood eventually comes down. Muck has offered to give them away to people who agree to donate to organizations fighting for racial justice. In the meantime, she hopes their message resonates with her neighbors and those fighting the good fight. I hope that people who are in this struggle realize that they have support, that they are heard, that we are with them. Paying tribute to the victims of police brutality by using her talent to try and brush away racism and hate.